Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with a male. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is my prayer that God is going to use this channel to minister to your spiritual needs, to help you know God better, and to help you understand the voice of the Lord you hear better in the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, someone you know won't be returning home. They are going to be taken away. You know, when the Lord gave me this prophetic word, he started by telling me that so many times we get taken for granted because of our, because the people around us have already seen us through, like they already know us, they already know what we can offer and they take us for granted because of that. But the Lord told me that you are about to get to get exposed to this new set of eyes that are going to appreciate you better, that are going to value your inputs, that are going to do almost anything just to be around you. They are going to celebrate you more. They will not want to let you go from their side. They are going to appreciate your uniqueness. They are going to appreciate your total package, everything that makes you. And they won't let you return again. This is what happened to, to David. You know, after David had fought Goliath, one thing I want you to remember is that David was not part of the army that was to confront Goliath. David was the son who was at, uh, um, um, in the forest taking care of his father's sheep and only went to the battlefield to give food to his elder brothers. But after he confronted and conquered Goliath, the Bible says that David did not return home. David was taken away by Saul and he stayed in the palace continually to minister to King Saul. He did not go back where he was not appreciated he did not go back where he was not celebrated he was he did not go back where he was minimized he got captured or you know the king he caught the king's attention by what he did and that became his new habitation one thing that god has told me is to always go where i am celebrated and not where i am tolerated when you are in a place where you are only tolerated, nothing you do seem to matter. Nothing you do seem to count. Nothing you do seem to be valued. But when you are in a place where you are celebrated, your little, the slightest thing you do is celebrated. The slightest thing you do matters so much. The slightest thing you do count a lot. And it is healthy to be in that kind of a place. It is better to be in places where they celebrate your uniqueness, they celebrate your efforts, they celebrate everything you do. And the Lord was just telling me that there is someone, you are not going back to where you used to be. You are not going back to that place where you were tolerated. You are not going back home. He is exposing you to a new set of eyes to people that will value your input, that will value the contributions you make, and that will appreciate you a lot more better. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.